Okay, so what we're going to do now is mount our engine. Uh, we've got the template that we've taped up here on the thrust lines that have been marked on the firewall. Um, so the engine will end up fitting just like that. Um, what you're going to want to do is using a, a fine tip uh, drill to start with, a sixteenth of an inch for example, uh, drilling very specifically right in the center of the points. And then after you've done that, then you'll graduate up to the next step up, the next step up, and so on until you get to the proper size hole. Uh, that will ensure that your holes stay perfectly centered, at, whereas if you start with a larger bit, you might start off-center and it's going to be off-center. Uh, so this helps keep your, your holes more precise. So we'll go ahead and begin that. Okay, so we're going to go up to the next size. Okay, so the last bit size we're going to use is a 3 16 inch bit. So again, for this engine, the last bit I used was a 3 16 inch bit, and I had to still kind of work them out a little bit with the, the bolts. Um, the proper size would have been a 5 millimeter, I believe, uh, but I don't have metric drill bits, so uh, you can usually get it pretty close and just kind of uh, file out the rest of it using the, the bolts themselves or a, a small round file. Um, when you're doing this, this procedure, make sure that, that your drill is very square at all times so that your, uh, your holes aren't slanted into the wood. Um, and you'll end up with the holes perfectly cut out. For my engine, I had to slightly notch out the top of the mount box to allow for the standoffs uh, to eventually fit in there, just like that. Uh, so if you use a JC28, you'll have to notch it slightly.